Let's rest. Now let us warp. And go to Firelink Shrine. Welcome back to my infinite stamina Dark Souls run. Hmm. Hold on one second. Let me check my files. Whoops. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry. Yo. Welcome back to the uh, to Bloodborne. We're gonna be uh, going to the uh, the Tomb of the Giants now. A very interesting, outstanding, well-designed location. That was like half sarcasm because it is actually quite good. It's it's quite good. Um, Patches is there. Arguably the second most iconic character to come out of Dark Souls. Uh, NPC wise. Ooh. Maybe Siegmeier would be. No, Patches is. Because there's. um He's definitely the most infamous. Solaire's the most famous. Solaire's everyone's golden boy. And then. um, I would admit. I, I think that. Patches is everyone's like. Rusty boy, they're, they're shit boy. If Solaire's gold, but Patches is like one of my favorite characters in uh, the Souls franchise. I love him in every single game. Thanks, man. That was actually a tick perfect rest. Because had I done it a s nanosecond too uh, late. The skeletons would have come down, and I wouldn't have been able to rest. But I did it at just the right time that it, like, re it made me, like, stand up. Oh, wait, fuck, I forgot to press the button. It made me stand up and unable to rest the moment that I rested. Because they came into, like, aggro range. That's so cool. I'm so, I'm so slick with it. Look at all these bugs. You like these bugs? You like bugs? I like bugs. Let's go. Oh, ew, there's actually a lot of them. Huh. All right, I didn't notice there was there was that many. So since I have no fall damage, um, I'm going to show y'all a little trick. It's basically where your game fucking crashes for some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, so that wasn't supposed to happen. I am alive. I know that may be upsetting to some of you. But alas, here I am. I had to turn on my uh the stamina thing and the, the flip. And I am thriving. Hello skeleton. Don't you even worry about it. So I did that jump, uh, pretty shit. Let me do it a bit better. <laughs> I think unironically if I do it from like up here. Yeah, that's better. And then there. We can summon a uh, Leroy. But I'd much rather have Leroy trying to kill us at the beginning, or sorry, at the end of the catacombs. In the Tomb of the Giants. Trying to protect us and keep us from going into the room with Gravelord Nito. <laughs> but I digress. Now we're about to fight the hardest boss in the game. Which I'm a bit scared of. Because I know I may die once or twice, but I, I, I'll just edit it out. This guy, if you guys don't know, is nicknamed the Run Killer uh, in the Dark Souls community. Because when people do speedruns and stuff, this guy, he just one-shots you. His name is Pinwheel. He's really, really infinite, infamous, notorious. But I think I may have a trick up my sleeve. 
in defeating him. Mmm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I did it. That's crazy. What mask will I get? Yes! I got the father mask! Let's fucking go, dude! I got two now. That's awesome. Oh, uh, uh, pardon you. Uh, I'm sorry. It's those Cajun fries from Popeyes, man. That shit's crazy. Alright, let's go. Into the Tomb of the Giants I go. Look, you can see his eyes. He's so spooky. So scary. Oh no. Oh no. You know what would be so funny? If I said spooky scary skeletons. Wouldn't that be the most hilarious thing, guys? <laughs> Upvote. Sucking penis in the night is really fucking hard. Hello, Patches. You are bright. And I am fucking hard. Good day. You look reasonably sane. Thank you. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Fuck no. No? Really? Yeah. Good. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. Thanks. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but... Well, we're friends now. I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> Alright, Lap. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Patches, Lap, whatever you want to be called. Wow, that's a lot of treasure down. Oh my god! I didn't see that coming. Thank you, Patches. It's actually a good thing that he kicks you down here if you choose to look because you get the skull lantern down here. And it shimmers you blind because it's a lantern. He helps show you the way if you're willing to trust him. Uh, but he is just trying to punish you for being greedy because he hates human greed. Which is why he respects... Um, the thief in Dark Souls 3. Because he's like Robin Hood. The Robin Hood of Lothric. Because he despises greed and likes to punish it. I think that's really cool. I love Patches. I love his whole story in um, Ring City too. When, in Dark Souls 3, Ring City, when, when, when he's Lap and he doesn't remember who he is, and you kind of help him find out who he is, and he gets to the Purging Stone, <coughs> he regains his memories, and then he kicks you, just like he does in his first appearance in the game, down a hole, except it's, it's down a hole, um, towards where you have to go, like, the way out, the exit. It's so cool. It's so well written. It's so sad. So beautiful. His redemption arc. It's so beautiful. I love Patches. Oh, you. I. Well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations. They can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're. Jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. A second chance. Wonderful. I had a feeling you'd understand. I did. But uh, if I were in your shoes, ooh, who knows what I'd have done. <laughs> but now we're friends again. Eh? <laughs> I love patches. 
So many people don't like him. They don't get him. They don't understand him. I love him. He's great. Don't you- Stop it. His head was glowing too. Also, there's a bonfire over here. I almost just completely missed it. Like an absolute oxymoron. That I am. I shall grab it and kindle it. That actually looks sick. Hold on. Look at that. That's actually so fucking cool looking. All right. Um can I level up? Alright, fantastic. 15 Estus. A new best friend. And... A big ass fucking sword for a big ass fucking giant skeleton. Bastard. Let's go get Nito's ass. Ow. Ow. There is no need for this insolent violence. Can you behave for 10 fucking seconds? Can you stop? If I die up here of all fucking places, I will not forgive and I will not forget. Oh my god, I missed. He has the halberd. He could drop the halberd. Please drop it. Fuck! That's okay. Shut your ass up! God damn! Fuck you. Alright. Um... Okay. Fuck you. Hello? Hello! There we go. And yoink. Oh, I got the Mukakano. That's awesome. I love that game. Uh, I love that game. <laughs> no! Uh! I love that uh, gun. Gun? I love that sword. Sword. Got white Titanite. I bet the Painter Guardians would love that. <laughs> I do always get a bit lost in the catacombs. But I always come out on top. Can't say the same for the people in Paris, but I digress. Yeah, okay, here we go. Leroy should invade me. And there's Ash Lake right there. It's really cool. We don't really have a reason to go to Ash Lake. Uh, as I'm not doing Siegmeier's quest. Alright. Can you stop, Leroy? Thanks. Time for me to use Sanctus. Alright. Fuck this part that's upcoming. <laughs> I just gotta run through it. This other one should go down. There's an archer, and then there's a guy that kicks you off. Don't even engage with them. Now we have a bunch of pinwheels, or run killers as I called them. And if you fall, there's a bunch of baby skeletons. Isn't that just fantastic? Fantastic. 
Oh no. Oh no. I always forget that Nito has a cutscene. I mean, of course he does. Uh, obviously he would, but I always... I always forget. He's such a cool boss. He's, he's so neato. Get it? It's like a joke. Ugh, Pardonius. No, but I think the Tomb of Giants and the Catacombs are a great location. And I think that this boss uh, is kind of shit because of the amount of ads. I think he's going to blow up. Yeah. That's like one of the best parts about this though, is that he can blow up his own kind. And then now he's dead. He's extremely weak. Did I kill him? Okay, yeah, I did. I just had to make sure. Because he was still moving around a bunch. I was like, shit, did I even kill him? Where's the bonfire again? Oh, right. 120,000 souls. No way. Wow. Uh... Raise faith. Now, let's warp to... The Undead Parish! You'll see why in a moment. I put that on so that I could have health regeneration in the catacombs. And because it's holy and I like the, um, the whole, what is it called? Uh, like fantasy of it. Mm, that's an odd ember you have there. Yeah, I know. I need someone else. Ah, I know. Huh? Um, but I do want your gesture. Thanks. As for this fucker down here, I'm not doing it. You can stand behind one of these stones and then shoot him with arrows constantly as he will not be able to hit you and he will not be able to jump over to you so you can cheese him, but I am not going to do that. I have no intention of doing that. Bastard. Got the blooming moss clump. Now we are in Dark Root Garden. Purple Moss Clump. I should have come here before Blight Town. But whatever. Blight Town's done with. I don't have to think about it. Don't have to worry about it. I missed entirely. <coughs> Alright. And bonk. There's the bonfire. Get up. Alright. So that was the catacombs. And the tomb of the giants. Nito is now fucking dead Oh. Next we're gonna kill Sif. Artorius' stupid fucking dog. Make him limp and whine like a little bitch. And then kill him. Steal the ring from him. Then go kill the four kings in the abyss. And then it's uh, the best boss in the best location of them all. The demon ruins Lost Isolith and, of course, the bed of chaos. So I'll catch you then. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. One big announcement also is that.